Hey everyone, welcome back to the Lace Up channel. My name's Mickey. Today I wanna to share with you the five ways that your employees are stealing from you. Whether it's your back office admin, your warehouse employee, or your drivers, here's how creative they get to take money away from your bottom line. Number one, your driver straight up steals product off the truck. I can't tell you how many customers I have that say, Mickey, we don't need a warehouse guy to load out, right? The drivers can load themselves out. And I'm like, are you guys serious? Any driver could go into your warehouse, take whatever product, pocket it, and leave, and you will never know about it. In order to truly track the inventory on a truck, you have to have somebody that scans or picks product out of the truck, and then at the end of the day, receives product back into the warehouse. If you don't do this, I promise the drivers will steal from you. Now, you may say, Mickey, hey, look, I've got drivers that go out for a month and they don't come back. And that's okay. It's very easy to manage these drivers. There's two ways to do it. Number one, every time they come back, you do a cycle count. And that cycle count will determine whether or not the driver's over or short. That's the first option. Secondly, you can have the driver periodically send you a blind inventory count. And you can utilize that blind inventory count to determine whether or not the driver again is over or short. Just make sure that you have somebody counting the product off the truck, and then counting the product off the truck or cycle counting the truck every once in a while. That is the only way you can keep your drivers from stealing product. The second way that your employees are stealing from your back office admins, especially back office admins that collect cash from your drivers. Normally when your back office admin collects cash from your driver, your driver brings corresponding invoices and money. Now it's super easy for these back office admins to make a little adjustment to the invoice. They can adjust the quantity, they could adjust the price, and then they could pocket the difference. The only way you solve this is you need to have your drivers, okay, drop the money with a little report that shows exactly how much each invoice was. This way you know that the report must match the cash and you're not worried about the back office admin making changes to the invoices. Also, if you guys have a system in place, make sure that the system does not allow any back office admin to go in and make a change to an invoice that's been paid. Talk to your service provider and ensure that this doesn't happen because if it does, I promise they will find a way to steal from you. The third and most popular way your employees are stealing from you is straight out of the warehouse. I can't tell you how many of my distributors, dude, it's so frustrating how many of my distributors don't do cycle counts in their warehouse. Basically, they go an entire year and they go, oh, we don't do a cycle count until December. I'm like, are you serious? You're telling me you've got no idea what your actual inventory is in your warehouse unless you do a cycle count. So you're, not, you're waiting until December or even January to know what you have in your warehouse. How are you doing your purchasing? How are your sales orders getting fulfilled? Everything has to be so screwed up in your business. Therefore, the only solution that I have for you is you have to do cycle counts periodically. That way, if somebody walks out of the warehouse with some product and you're doing cycle counts every single month, you'll find out how short you are. And when you determine or establish that there is a problem in the warehouse, boom, that flips the switch and now you can really put the radar on and find out who's stealing from you. But if you're not doing cycle counts, you're waiting an entire year to find out what the damage is. And that damage over time compounds, especially as your employees find out that you're not smart enough to keep them in check. The fourth way your employees are stealing from you is your drivers avoiding or changing prices or quantities on invoices. I can't tell you how many drivers I see every day it blows my mind. They get so creative. They'll make an invoice, they'll collect the cash from the customer, they'll void it out in our system, they'll make a second invoice with less quantities or less prices, and then pocket the difference. Not only do they do this on my system, but when they're working with paper, handwritten invoice books, you know what they'll do? They'll do the same thing with the invoices. They'll make an invoice, give it to the customer, then the customer gives them the cash and what they do is they crumble up that invoice, boom, then they take the next invoice on that invoice book and put the quantities lower so that they can pocket the difference. Now, how do you stop this? There's two ways to stop it. If you have a system, it's very simple. You don't let them print out anything that resembles an invoice until they finalize. That way you know if they're voiding the invoice, that's the only way they can steal from you. And secondly, if you have invoice books, you have to track your invoice numbers. You have to look at what invoice number they started with, what invoice number they ended with, and you have to make sure that you have an invoice for each one. Because if you don't, I promise they're forging your invoices and they're stealing cash from you. The fifth and most creative way these drivers are stealing from you is they are running a route for their business on your route. Meaning that they'll go visit one of your customers. Let's say that you sell both iPhone cables and Android cables to a convenience store. And let's say that the driver wants to sell his iPhone cables to your convenience store. What they'll do is, They'll go into the convenience store, they'll make an invoice, whether it's a paper invoice or it's a, a system invoice on a system like ours, um, and they'll put five iPhone cables and five Android cables. They'll walk out to the truck, unload their iPhone cables, unload your Android cables, bring them into the store. 
They'll collect the cash from the customer because they print out a little something called a pick slip. It, do, it says it's not a real invoice, yet the customer somehow pays for it because they don't really care. Okay, then the driver walks out and you know what they'll do? They'll take that, they'll adjust out the five iPhone cables and then what will remain on that invoice is five Android cables as if they never stole from you. Then they'll finalize that invoice and bring you that invoice back with the cash for the five Android cables. Dude, we caught a driver. We caught a driver that stole over $80,000 in one year from a customer like this. $80,000 plus his salary, plus his commission. The guy was making 200K, no problem. Isn't that crazy? Doesn't that blow your mind? Now, the only way you guys can stop this, if your drivers are doing this to you, if you have a system, you need to be able to see the difference between the original invoice and the final. And the drivers that have these differences constantly, those are the ones that are stealing from you. If you don't have a system, then your best bet is tracking invoice numbers. You have to be able to track the invoice numbers and you have to see if the driver is making two invoices for one customer or if they're scratching out a quantity or a price and making changes to it. So anyways, that is the fifth and final way your employees are stealing from you. If you guys have any questions, hit me down in the comments below. I'll make sure to get back to you. If you have any other ways that you've caught your employees stealing from you at your distribution company, let me know. I'd love to know all these ways so that I can design solutions that prevent these individuals from stealing from you. My goal is to provide as much value for you and your company as possible, because if I don't, who else will? Anyways, guys, I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.